Well, hello everybody. Uh, this is Pat Ball back at you. Uh, welcome to the uh, video here. I'm putting this video together today because I was running into a problem with my uh, Logitech 3D Extreme Pro joystick. Uh, it decided uh, for whatever reason to uh, not be recognized in Windows 10 any longer. And uh, I just spent the last couple hours messing with a bunch of stuff and found, I wouldn't say necessarily call it a fix, I call it a workaround. It's better than nothing because at this point, it at uh, the way I have the computer now, plug it in, it doesn't work. Uh, so trash. No, it's not. It uh, jo joystick is fine. For some reason, Windows this uh, Logitech Profiler software isn't compatible with the latest version of Windows 10. Is what I'm guessing. I get an error code 39 uh, in the device manager. It, it's unable to load the device drivers or whatever for it due to error code 39, which usually which says corrupt files. It's either a corrupt file in the registry uh, or whatever. Don't know. But I just spent the last couple hours messing with stuff. I tried to search the internet for a solution to it. Everybody, there seemed to be quite a few, a few people that uh, have the problem. And uh, I found kind of a workaround for it. Um, this will entail you not using your Logitech profiler software uh, uh, for the joystick ever again, apparently, because it doesn't like it the profile software, but uh, you can get it to work. Uh, I want to show you just real quick. I do have the, the uh, joystick plugged in. I have my uh, X-Plane 11 loaded up, and I went to joysticks, and it says no flight controls found. And it's the actually the only thing I have plugged in right now is the Logitech 3D Extreme Pro. And I do have... Try to When you try to load the Logitech Extreme software, this is what you get. It's unable to detect it any game controllers. So, which, uh, what would a normal person would do is they'd go into their device manager down here, type in device manager, but uh, I'm just going to tell Cortana to do it. Open device manager. Opening device manager. Okay. In the device manager, it's probably going to be like showing like this when you get into it. Uh, don't worry about this real tech high definition audio. I think I burned out that on my motherboard, so that doesn't work. But anyway, this is probably what you come up. You're going to human interface devices. Then you got Logi two, uh, three actually Logitechs in here. These two are going to show OK. And then you got the uh, one with the exclamation point, the Extreme 3D Pro HID human interface device. And you go, well, okay, well, apparently it doesn't need a device driver, so, or it needs to update the driver, so you do that. Well, this isn't going to work, but this is what most people would probably do, and I did for a while. Uh, browse, if you search the, uh, automatically for updated drivers, it'll say you have the latest driver, so don't even bother with that. Down here, browse my computer for driver software. Uh, pick from a list of available drivers on your computer. You can see three here. If you pick this one, which you think you would do to get drivers for it, you hit next, and then it'll, you'll get an error saying it found drivers, but c we couldn't uh, install them for whatever reason. doesn't really tell you why. Error code 39. All right, so the way you fix that is go back into it again, update the driver, browse my computer for driver software. Again, let me pick from a list of available drivers, and then hit this HID compliant device. Don't have don't hit have to have this kit next. Done. And it's changed that. It's now gone. It, it's no longer in there. Change it to the HE compliant device right there. And as you see on Windows 11 or X Plane 11, I now have my joystick. Uh, I don't need the Logitech Profiler at least for this particular game because uh, you can assign buttons to your joystick inside the software of the game. Um, whether this is going to work for every game, I don't know, but uh, I suspect it would be. I think all it's doing is it's working around the uh, Logitech Profiler problem it's, or compatibility with it. I don't know. It's unfortunate. I can't use it anymore for this, at least for this joystick. I got a steering wheel I haven't even tried. I'm probably going to run into that problem too. But I hope this has helped a lot of people. Uh, if, you, if you like it, please uh, leave me a comment about it, uh, what you may, have, may or may not have uh, found it working for you. But uh, that's the problem I've had. And again, uh, we don't have any errors down here. If you happen to also, down here, I did have in the Universal Serial Bus controllers, I had a couple of the 
exclamation point ones that are in there too and I just uh, disabled them or deleted them wasn't sure um, so if you have that and it didn't work try going in there and uh, try disabling them first instead of deleting them I think I just got mad and deleted them <laughs> but uh, yeah yeah, they're gone. Nothing about Logitech in here for me anyway. You might have that with some uh, exclamation points. Disable them uh, without deleting them is what I'd recommend. And uh, try it again. All right, well, hope this has helped everybody. And I appreciate you guys coming in and uh, viewing the video. And you guys have a great day.